Hello everybody. This is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm going to show you what I'm working on today. Thanks for joining me. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider it. Um, today, I want to show you and work just a little bit on this. This is uh, going to be a botanical journal. And I found this at the thrift store and it was a photo album. And it had, it was filled with pages. I gotta pull one out here. Like this, they had the spots to put the photos on them. And I took them out and I, ugh, I dropped one. I'm picking it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, there's a, a this is dried flowers, real dried flowers and leaves and stuff on here. And there's a little bit where it's off, but not bad. So, I mean, the leaves are off a little bit here. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just make it into a, um, a botanical journal. And uh, I, I'll talk about this later. But the... Um, see this cord that this closure is very thick that was what was holding those pages in and there were huge holes here so I filled them in with this modeling paste and it sunk in a little bit um, but I'm going to put fabric over it so I think it'll be fine so that's what I'm going to do right now and uh, first I'm going to put this this purple fabric over it and I'll come around to the inside and do the whole thing and then I'm gonna I've got lace that I'm gonna go over it with so I'm gonna do that right now and um, then I will do a little work in the signatures and then um, we'll see what time it is so let's see I have to find my way over here I have this upside down because it's getting near the bottom. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to, this is actually paper and um, I was going to like sand this off and the paper started coming off and I thought, nah, I'll put fabric on it and it'll be fine. So I'm going to put, this is getting thicker too, but I think it'll work. Put this on here. kind of along the edge and I'm going to get my my makeup silicone brush put over that and then I'm going to lay this on so it's kind of in the middle because I'm going to bring it around to the other side I'm like, this will be totally covered up when when I get done. Um, but you'll be able to see the purple and green kind of through the through the lace. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is this goes up to about there and this goes there. So I think what I'll do is do one side at a time. See how thick my stuff is getting. I have a little bit left. I'm going to have to put some acetone in it to thin it down. I have a new one too, so mm -mm -mm. here we go. I just think it'll look better with this on it. I've been playing phone tag with my doctor's office this morning. My doctor is um, going to work at the vet clinic and, you know, veterans, as in veterans <laughs> clinic, um, instead of treating, having his own, or being part of this other practice that he's been in for a long time. Okay, 
Um, and I've had him for many years, and, you know, I'm kind of sad. But he's leaving the end of March, and my husband and I had appointments for April. So we're kind of moving him up. Because that'll give us a little more time to get, um, to get our... Our new doctor sorted out since we have to find a new one and um, I'm waiting for a call back I it's like I I called I left a message she called she left a message I was putting laundry in so I didn't get it done and so if I go off I'm gonna cut this little end off here if I just go off, um, I'll pause for a minute. I'll let you know I'm going to do it, but that's because she's calling. I'm using my own phone, old phone, to, uh, to record this. And I have my other one just on vibrate, so I'll hear it vibrate if she calls. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to put the uh, the lace on and um, again, I think this lace, it's going to go over the edge just a little bit. So I'm going to put some dots on like where the flowers are. so it doesn't shine through hopefully and then I'll go on the edges which will be over the edge and put that in so I was just doing this one because it was something I could do really really quickly and uh, I'm going to be doing a challenge with me by Gernath, Anna. And uh, also going to be botanical, but it's going to be very different. We're challenging each other to try some things we've never done before or only done a little bit of or whatever. We're just going to see, like, how I want to make sure this is in the middle, like how it works. Um to uh, we'll each do our own thing but we're each going to make sure we do certain things okay this could have been a little narrower there but I think it'll be fine okay and that's going to be fun She's in Sweden, but she speaks English on her videos, and she is incredible with how well she does with her English. I do not speak another language, and I am so impressed when people can do that. I took German in high school. My dad taught me. 10 phrases to get you guaranteed to get you thrown out of the classroom. Um, but I never used it, so I didn't get thrown out. And I, I remember some of it. I probably can read it better than speak it. Oh, that was always the case. And it's kind of, you know, just something we never did. I took um, sign, American Sign Language when I taught deaf kids, and I knew enough to be able to say, hey, I understand sign language when they were trying to talk, you know, by signing, which was something that a, a vocal student wouldn't do, although some of my deaf kids could speak too, but they would sign because they would think they would get away with it. So that is like that, and I am just going to, this will be covered up eventually too. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue it up here. 
anyway, I've forgotten a lot of that too. But it was always fun to see the look on kids' faces when they were talking and I said, and I signed to them, you know I understand sign language. And and I didn't understand everything they were doing because if they'd spell words, they'd go so fast and I couldn't do it. I always had an interpreter in my classroom. So um, I didn't... Uh, I didn't really understand everything they were doing, but they didn't know it. <laughs> Sneaky, huh? Yep. Yeah, gotta do what you got it, what you can do when you're a teacher and you got things. I never had that many discipline problems though, because kids liked my class. I taught at the end when I I taught science, seventh grade science and eighth grade social studies were the last two things I taught. So um, that was, that was fun. I miss the kids. I do not miss the rest of it. The bureaucratic stuff and the the correcting and, you know, spending a lot of my time at home doing work and then being kind of implied that I was lazy by some people who thought teachers just had it so easy. You know, and it's like, yeah, and you got the summer off. Yeah, I got the summer off, all right. And I had to take classes, six credits every five years. I had to do workshops in the summer for staff development so yeah and plus i worked so many extra hours during the year so people who think teachers have it easy we didn't and they still don't now there could be some who do they're not good teachers <laughs> if they are the type who's just lazy or doesn't do very much extra stuff with the kids or whatever. That might be a different story, but I, I worked very hard at my teaching and the kids did like me, but I still made them work very hard. In fact, one girl in environmental club, which I did just for nothing. I just did it with a friend. We didn't get paid or anything. Um, she said, I'm glad you're not my social studies teacher. And I said, really? Why? And she said, because you make your kids think. So I thought that was pretty funny. Her teacher had them read the chapter, answer the questions at the end, and take a test and then she said, that's what she told me. Uh, and then and then I can just forget it all again. Whereas I had students, yeah, I'm happy with that, uh, who came back when they were in high school and they came back for like an open house. I think that's pretty. Um, and they said to me, Mrs. Valenta, I, I would be in, I'll be in my social studies class and my teacher will say something and I'll think, I already know that. I learned that from Mrs. Valenta. And you know what? I didn't even know we were learning stuff. We were having so much fun. That was like the best compliment I ever got. Now I did press these already. And I, except for there, I added a couple of Edith Holden pages which weren't pressed in, but that'll be fine and some of these had things on them already i went in my um drawer that's book pages prep but not used and i pulled out a whole bunch of stuff that i had in there and that's what i'm using and then i added some botanical um my um alcohol dyed botanical prints and i added um some like this is uh, actually like a card stock, but I threw um, a leaf um, plastic thing on top of it when it dried. So I've got 
shapes. Um, I had some that already had pockets in them <laughs> that I ended up not using, so I used those. Um, so that is a lot of it. This is leftovers because I had to take two things out of my um, the writer. Now there's writing on here, so I thought I would take this page and kind of glue that over it. This was also one I had to take out of the writer. So there's a mosaic thing, but I think it fits because there's flowers here. It's pretty. And this is just going to flip open like this. So I'm going to put some uh, glue stick on it and put it in this page. Uh, let me grab my... I'm just going to grab this because it's too big to put on a, like a piece of um, book page. That way any glue, I think I should open it up so I don't get it on the other side. Any glue that goes over the edge, I'll just wipe off later. And it won't be here, okay? This is Scotch glue stick. Create, Scotch Create by 3M. And I do like using this one. It holds. We used to use Yuhu glue when I first started. And it seemed like anything after a little while, it started coming apart. And I was not happy with that. So I experimented. And now this one really holds well. So this is going to go on this page. Uh, move it up a little bit. It already wants to hold. But it's pretty straight, so that's good. It's a little crooked. There. That's because it wasn't straight. The page wasn't straight. Aha, uh -huh. that's why. Okay. So that is going to just be a flip inside this page. And then I do have some book pages that open up and things like that. I went in. I used some of these that were from my journal. Uh, yeah, well, that has space to write. So it's not really shabby. Uh, I mean, it's not really grubby, grungy, grubby. It's it's going to be kind of shabby, and I and I do have uh, this is tea dyed paper and things like that. So um, that is going to be in here. Now I will not go through all of these with you today. I'm going to keep this shorter. It's already 18 minutes, so I'm going to keep it short. If you didn't see my flip through the writer. And you're, especially if you're a regular subscriber, go back and look at it all the way to the end because there was a surprise announcement about a, a giveaway. Um, the writer is going to be given away. And I didn't want to put it in the, in the title of the video because I think some people will subscribe to you just to try to win the video and then unsubscribe later. So I only want people who actually really are my subscribers to have a chance to win. So if you stuck with me, if you're watching this, if you're if you're not a subscriber and you do want to subscribe, please do. If you're here this long, that would be great. Um, but I, I didn't want to just, you know, put that in the, the thing. So if you didn't comment on that flip through of the writer go back and watch that and uh and then see if you win i'm going to draw this coming sunday on february 25th for the winner so that's it for today this is carol saying bye